The 14 year old shot and killed by Aurora police was apologizing and surrendering when he was caught by officers. That's what you hear. Police say what you can't see on the body camera video is that teenager going for a weapon turned out to be a pellet gun. Our Mark Salinger's go just gone through additional video released today. No clear view. Yeah, no clear view at all. On one side, you have the, the family of Jordell Richardson saying, hey, look at this video. You don't see a gun. On the other side, you have Aurora police saying that their officers acted in self-defense. Take a look here. The videos are hard to watch. A 14 year old running, police chasing him, and finally a shooting that leaves Jordell Richardson dead. Officers arrive at a strip mall on June 1st in an unmarked truck with police lights. Immediately, they begin chasing a group of teenagers who just attempted a robbery of a convenience store. The boy in the white, we'd later learn, is Jordell. He runs from police to the back alley. He's tackled by two officers and looks to be on his back. You can see his arms moving, but it's hard to tell exactly what's happening. Aurora police said he's reaching for a gun. Watching this video, it's impossible to see. What we do know is police shot and killed Jordell in this alley. He was carrying a pellet gun, but not a real gun. I had no time and no frame does the video depict, the surveillance video of the alley, does it depict Jordell with his hands on the pellet gun at no time. You do not see uh, in that surveillance video any pellet gun. Edward Hopkins is an attorney representing Jordell's family. When you say that he's reaching for a gun, one of the best things you can do is circle in the video where that gun is. They will not be able to do that because you won't see a gun. Aurora police isn't answering any questions about this case. The department only released this video today because they say they're required to under state law. The chief of police has previously said his officers thought Jordell was armed and could kill them. They didn't have an opportunity to back up they didn't have an opportunity to do any of that it is it happened real time for eight days following the shooting aurora police chief art acevedo told the public and the media that jordell had a semi-automatic weapon when he was shot he then corrected that to say it was a pellet gun acevedo blamed the major misunderstanding on communications issues and that he was never told that information until he actually asked for it Kyle, now the department is saying that that wouldn't have made a difference because the officers thought that that weapon was real when they saw it. Yeah, reacting to a weapon in the moment. I'm curious, they clearly have gone through this over and over and over again, watched it with a trained eye that exactly. you and I don't have. What's Aurora Police saying about what they see in the video released today? If you can get me that answer, I would love it because I cannot get anybody to go on the record at the city of Aurora or Aurora Police to say, hey, this you know, is going exactly with what we've said our officers were doing, that they saw a weapon. Nobody will say whether or not they believe that this supports their claim or it doesn't. All right. Mark Salinger, thank you.